Hey everyone, let's dive straight into the solar industry's latest market shifts. If you're a professional in this sector, you're probably aware of the continuous evolution in solar technologies. But today, we're focusing on a significant development affecting the sale of Perk Solar products. Passivated emitter and rear cell, or Perk technology, has been a staple in the solar industry for its efficiency. However, there's a new player in town, Tunnel Oxide Passivated Contact, known as Topcon. Now Topcon isn't just any newcomer, it's rapidly changing the game by offering even higher efficiencies and now, lower prices. According to insights from Martin Schatchinger of pbexchange.com, the falling prices of Topcon modules are putting a lot of pressure on Perk sales, here's the scoop. As Topcon becomes more affordable, the demand for Perk is dwindling. This isn't just a slight shift, it's a significant push that could reshape purchase decisions and inventory strategies. So. What's happening with the prices? Well, even though the production and import volumes of modules are expected to drop, it seems there's still a surplus of Asian modules reaching the European market. This surplus is causing inventories to grow, even for the high-performance models, which leads to a price drop across the board. For those holding on to older inventories purchased at higher prices, the situation is even more challenging. These older modules need to be devalued to stay competitive, but not everyone can afford to do this. As a result, we're seeing a market with varied prices for PERC modules, and frankly, the price difference between PERC and TopCon is narrowing down. Here's a crucial point to consider. Once a solar system is up and running, the generation it belongs to doesn't matter as much to the network it serves. What does matter is the cost efficiency and the return on investment it offers. This shift towards TopCon might just be driven by its promise of better returns, thanks to its lower costs and higher efficiency. So, if you're in the business of selling or manufacturing solar modules, it's time to take a close look at how these market dynamics could influence your strategies and maybe even your business model. That's all for today's update. Keep an eye on these developments because they will not only influence market trends, but also dictate future technological investments in the solar industry. Thanks for tuning in and stay informed.